Hi there, I'm the stoned philosopher. I'm the philosopher, I'm stoned. And recently Disney decided, hey, Ariel's gonna be black in the remake, okay guys? And everyone is losing their shit. Why? If my understanding of it is that the backlash against a black Ariel is because it's the pushback of the fact that Disney be like black people are the greatest, women are the greatest, straight people suck, gay people are the best uh, type of mentality that no one agrees with. And the people don't like that Disney is going this direction with it. My personal fear is that Disney will try to make this black Ariel out to be the end-all be-all of good characters who's just misunderstood and a little bit naive and she has only the best intentions in mind. And it's not going to utilize any satirical stereotypes of black culture. And before you go typing in the comments that I'm a racist for thinking that we should promote stereotypes in a mainstream media film, I want to point out that in the 80s, in the 90s, in the early 2000s, we had black people making comedy. And it was good comedy. And the people that they mocked, basically, in their comedy were the races. They had stereotypes of everybody. They have... Have you seen Blonde Chicks? The Wayans brothers are hilarious when it comes to picking on black people. Have you ever seen any Tyler Perry movies? The, these people satirize their race because they know that their race is silly. The, the stereotypes are silly. And they're okay with exploiting that for laughs, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. However, I think that the backlash is completely unwarranted. Back in the 2000s, I think it was, the Muppets did a version of The Wizard of Oz featuring Brandy, who is a black actress. And it was Dorothy, but she was black. It, okay. It didn't make me enjoy it any more or less as a film. Uh, the, the original Wizard of Oz is a very be beautiful movie, a very advanced movie for its time technologically. It brought a whole new world to us of films, and it is dated as fuck. <laughs> Let's be real, guys. The Wizard of Oz does not look great watching it in 2019, unless you're watching it with the historical value of the movie in mind. We... Everyone was all up in arms about the race change in Ghost in the Shell, because the robot lady, who isn't even of a race in Ghost in the Shell lore, was played by a white chick in that movie, as opposed to an Asian chick. My stance is, who the fuck cares what race the character is? We don't need to be getting up in arms about the race of the character in the movie. If we're going to be getting up in arms at all, it should be because the movie fucking sucks. Ghostbusters 2016 fucking sucked. It's not because the people that were in the lead roles were women. I believe that women can be Ghostbusters. It's because it fucking sucked. The humor was garbage. The acting was garbage. They could have got a lot better of a movie. And the, the delivery in Ocean's 8, I didn't watch that movie, but I heard that the delivery was terrible and the parts that were good were the parts that were ripping off of the previous Ocean's movies. I, I don't think this has to do with the characters being women. I think that there's the potential that women in that situation are not as funny or as expensive as men. I would argue that making them marry Sue's is a very bad idea because when men are in action movies they're in danger they're fucking risking their lives and women in old action movies also like fucking ripley from aliens is the first thing that comes to mind she's a fucking badass metroid was based on that character samus was based on the character and ridley was named after her kind of uh, the Ocean's 8 women just kind of didn't do what action movie people are supposed to do. And that's my understanding of why people didn't like that movie. 
anyway, I'm done. I'm the Stone Philosopher. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of Black Ariel in the comments below.